That's right, I'm playing with the crossbow today. I thought I'd drop back to Battlefield 3 to play with perhaps what is the best bit of equipment that was ever added into that game. Somebody had a brainwave at DICE when they decided to put this thing in. It still is one of my most favourite weapons in the Battlefield series. And there's a really good reason behind why I actually want to talk about this today. There are some serious reasons and there's a lustful reason as well. So we'll go over those in a minute. But first of all, to cater those people that have joined my channel since Battlefield 4 was released, some of you may not have actually played Battlefield 3 and may not actually have a clue what I'm going on about. Now, in the Aftermath DLC for Battlefield 3, it was actually the fourth DLC out of the five, the crossbow was introduced at a time in the FPS genre where a lot of games were including the crossbow. It was hinted heavily before that this weapon was going to be brand new to the series and never before included, so a lot of people were thinking that it could be something completely wacky. And when they came out with the idea of the crossbow, a lot of people were very dubious at the start, but I for one was really excited when they announced it. The standard expo, when you first unlocked it, came with the standard bolt. Now that thing was good for sort of close to medium range and it had a severe amount of arc when you fired it. It fired just like you'd expect a crossbow to. It takes a massive hit as soon as it actually leaves the body of the weapon, it would start to drop. And it was really good for something sort of around maybe 0 to 20 meters, but anything longer than that and you need really good aim to hit people with this thing. You unlock the crossbow with a Cobra sight, which is just the standard red dot sight for the Russian faction, and that cannot be interchanged in Battlefield 3. So really, they wanted you to use this thing as a close quarters weapon. Now, as you had started to unlock more things with the crossbow, there were certain assignments that you had to do to unlock the scoped version of the crossbow, and three other bolts that you can fire with the crossbow. I believe the first one that you could unlock was the explosive bolt, which was literally an arrow with a bit of Semtax on the end of it, that if you fired it and it hit something, as soon as it touched it, it would explode. Now, it was actually really hard to kill people with the crossbow unless you got a direct hit with the explosive part, otherwise you just wouldn't get the kill, it did virtually no splash damage. But it was really good against sort of light vehicles, and especially if you're playing as a medic, this would substitute your med pack, which meant that if you did actually come across a vehicle, you might actually stand a chance at surviving. The next bolt was the balance bolt. Now, this one can be used for long range, and I believe there was no bullet drop on it until it went past 150 meters. So this thing was really accurate at long range, and even after the 150 meter mark, you still stood a good chance of hitting somebody with the bolt. Now, the only thing was, is the only way to get a one hit kill with a balance bolt is that you had to hit the person in the head. So you did have to be extremely accurate. And by that point, you probably hadn't unlocked the scoped crossbow, so it was really good luck try hitting somebody in the head with that. But once you had unlocked the scoped crossbow, it actually became a really viable tool for the recon class. Now we know a lot of people like playing aggressive recon, and what better to use than that with the AS Val, which was just absolutely amazing in Battlefield 3. The best part about it is it had extended mags, which it doesn't in Battlefield 4, which is a shame. But it meant that you could go aggressive recon with a PDW, but still have the option to snipe somebody with the scope crossbow, which sort of had the best of both worlds within one of the best classes in Battlefield 3. And I think that made a lot of people happy. I know that I really enjoyed using that loadout with the, uh, with the balance bolt. And the final bolt that you unlocked was the scan bolt. And this was basically a temporary tugs. You could fire the bolt, and as long as it hit somewhere on the ground, it would then pulsate on the minimap for around 8 seconds and reveal any enemies in that location. It was a really cool idea, but I think that it just didn't last for long enough, so you didn't really have a chance to really see who was on the minimap. Plus, if you did have to use it as a weapon, this thing did about 13 damage unless you hit them in the head. And even then, you only did 26 damage, so you don't really stand a chance at killing anybody with the scan bolt. It was sort of helpful for recon players, but really, I think it was just an afterthought to complete the set of four. So, now we're up to speed on what the crossbow did in Battlefield 3. Why should it be in Battlefield 4, and how can it be improved? Well, the first thing I think I'd do is improve the customization options, not with the things that you fire, but the way that the weapon would actually perform. I think it would have been a really cool idea to let people to use any sight they liked on the crossbow, not just sticking with a 7x scope for the scoped expo and a red dot sight for the other one. I think it would be really cool to start to introduce maybe an ACOG sight, so you sort of get that intermediate feel between all the sights. But rather than limiting anybody to using just sort of 3 or 4, 
anybody could use whichever site they wanted. So they could in, they could go with iron sites if they really wanted to. I think that would be a good step forward. Next, I'd look at the way that it fires. The only thing that I really think hindered the expo is that you can only put one bolt in it at a time. And that really did mean that if you had to reload it and you were in front of an enemy, you couldn't kill them. You were going to die. One way or another, they were just going to shoot you and you didn't stand a chance at getting a second shot in before you'd reloaded. So I think it would be really cool. I don't think it would be too realistic, but it would probably be feasible to perceive that you could have two bolts in the crossbow at any one time and it fires one and then the other when you want to fire a second one. So kind of like a double barrel shotgun version of a crossbow, if you kind of catch my drift. It meant that you could fire one bolt and then have the option to fire a second one as well. Now to sort of wanting to get it around the right way and make sure it wasn't too overpowered, you could only have one version of the bolt in there at any one time. So if you wanted to switch between bolts, you had to reload, take them both out and put two kinds of the same bolt in. That way I think it would make it balanced. And then the last thing I do is rethink the ammunition. The standard bolt is a really good idea and the balance bolt is a really good idea. I was very fond of the explosive bolt as well, but I think it could have done just a little bit more damage because I think it was still slightly underpowered, even though it did give you a chance if you weren't sort of an explosive soldier, like an engineer or a recon with C4, it meant that you could still stand a chance against sort of small vehicles or light armoured vehicles. And I think just sticking a little bit more explosive on there would give somebody a little bit more of a chance of actually disabling the vehicle and potentially destroying it as well. And I think the last bolt, we'd scrap the scan bolt altogether because really the motion balls do exactly the same as what the scan bolt did in Battlefield 3. And now we already have those in Battlefield 4. I'd replace it with an arrow that was already on fire, so like an incendiary arrow that you could fire up into the air and let it hit the ground and then it would have like a spread radius where it would set the ground on fire after it's hit something that way you could potentially damage enemies just a little bit at a time and potentially distract them while you flip out your primary weapon and then rain down hell on them so it would really be used as an auxiliary sort of weapon I guess I just thought it would be a really good idea and it was a really tactful way of trying to get enemies out of your way or distracting them so you could gain an advantage and with those changes, I think the Expo would become a really viable weapon for Battlefield 4. Trust me, in the mo at the moment, in the equipment classes in Battlefield 4, I don't know what they're really thinking. Let's just stick a three grenade launcher in there. Let's stick an anti-heli mine in there. Surely they could look back at something that was so successful in Battlefield 3 and reintroduce that into Battlefield 4. It was such a brilliant idea at the time and it worked so well that I can't really see a reason not to include it in Battlefield 4. But those are just my thoughts guys, so make sure you leave yours down in the comments today. And that's about the end of the video as well, so thank you for watching. If you did enjoy the video today, then make sure you hit the like button, and as I've just said, comments are always appreciated. But until next time, my name is Westy, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.